Hi everybody, this is Pisces Moonbeam with Radgo Tarot. I am here to do a special reading for you called How Does He or She Feel About Me Tarot for the month of September 2018. So here you are, we got three piles. I've already shuffled and pulled the cards. So just take a moment and look at the piles and look at the crystals and feel whichever one you are intuitively drawn to. And we're going to go ahead and open up the cards and see what they have to say for the month of September in regards to your love life. So if you've picked pile number one over here, let's see what the cards have to say. Now your first card out is the eight of swords. So this person, whoever it is that you're thinking about that you might be in a relationship with right now, there's definitely something going on. There's definitely a sense of unhappiness. It, perhaps it's not really unhappiness, more of a clouded vision. Perhaps this person feels like they're stuck in a situation where they're either having the wool pulled over their eyes or they are pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. I know that normally this cord is about being trapped in your own demise, but the vibe that I'm getting from this is that somebody is not really seeing clearly there's a little bit of secrets happening in this relationship so however this person is feeling i'm not even sure he or she really knows i feel like the wool might be being pulled over their eyes or they're not able to see clearly but there's definitely some mental lack of clarity going on and confusion so let's see what the other cards have to say in regards to that Eight of Swords. So, the first card out here, we've got some Oracle cards coming, is Serendipity. The second card, Fork in the Road. And the third card, Chop Wood. So basically, what I'm getting from this is that with this serendipity, there could have been a really special time in this relationship. There could have been a really chance faded meeting. Perhaps two people have met or have reunited. Perhaps this is about a past love. I am getting a feeling that this is about a past love and about somebody coming back from the past where it just happened. It was a fluke. You never expected it. And now you are feeling really happy and like wow I can't believe this is really happening could it possibly really have a chance this time and if it's not for somebody from the past then there is somebody that you met under some really serendipitous situations where it was really faded and really really meant to be this is definitely not happening by accident here but now this person is at a place where they've reached a fork in the road and they have to make a serious choice and something tells me that they don't want to make that choice because when you make a choice you could lose the serendipity or you could lose what you have and this eight of swords here card brings me back to not being able to see clearly and i think this person is not only just confused but a little bit afraid because this card over here means that there's work that needs to be put in so this person clearly isn't sure how they feel. It started off really, really great. It was very serendipitous. It was very faded. And now there are definitely decisions to make in this fork in the road here, which is going to lead to hard work. Now, this could be putting in work should this person decide once they receive their clarity to stay in their relationship or to come forward and express their feelings to you. It's, there's going to require a lot of humbleness and a lot of humility. So you're going to really have to be there for that person should they come to you and explain. But I do think that there is a fork in the road because I think that whoever is attracted to this pile, this is really talking about reuniting with somebody from the past or a really, really happy accident that might not fit into life right now. And there is some confusion going on. So the last three cards that we have for this spread are in order the crumbling wow look at that 
sorry about the quality if it's not so great it says what are you clinging to so there's definitely a situation here that is going to change similar to the tarot card don't dim to fit in when you are dimming your light how are you dimming your light in order to fit in so what is it that you're doing or that you're refusing to acknowledge in order to keep this relationship going are you keeping quiet about how you really feel and that brings us back to the crumbling what are you clinging to which here at the end the last final card as your guidance card is trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do so whoever chose this pile in regards to how is he feeling about me there's definitely a lot of confusion going on but I do believe that this is not just confusion on one person's part this is a mutual confusion where somebody is changing to keep a relationship going but it's not really making them happy so you have to be who you are that's the only way to be healthy in love and if you cannot accept the other person for who they are and if they cannot accept you for who they are then it is time to walk away but there will be a decision here there is a fork in the road that needs to be made and with that fork will come some humility and a little bit of humbleness sorry i have a bad habit of playing with the cards and there will be some detaching but it doesn't necessarily mean that things will be over i see and feel a lot of communication that's going to happen once this shift comes so that was your first pile for those of you who have selected the second pile how does he or she feel about you this month? So the first card we got is the Two of Cups. Now, that's a beautiful card. That's definitely, definitely somebody or someone who wants to be invested in an emotional relationship, who wants to be in union, who wants to a coming together of partnerships. And the guidance we have is no place like home. Here and now. And flexible so this is just a beautiful reading this is can you see that flexible this is such a beautiful reading this is about somebody who is sure about how they feel and not only wants to come home to a place where they feel like they fit in and belong but wants to build a home with you and build a life with you but stay in the here and now do not jump to conclusions do not try to rush things or to push things don't try to go into the past don't try to go into the future just stay present and in the moment don't analyze the two of cups is about emotion it's not about the brain it's about the heart so don't analyze this person is feeling you they're feeling your vibe they like it they like where it's going so stay in the here and now that will keep you guys That'll keep your passion, your fire alive. So don't worry about the future. But when you do, you're going to have to be flexible. There's going to be a little bit of change and a little bit of adapting to someone else. Now, when you're really in it for the long haul, and if it's really love, it's okay to be flexible. Some people are more flexible than others. But just know that, you know, in regards to how they feel, there might be some shifts going on in regards to changing their approach or their lifestyle or their schedule and, and how much time they can spend with you so be open and, and stay flexible because there's definitely mutual reception happening so the last three cards for your guidance are warrior woman if you weren't afraid what would you do so see how strong this photo is where she's holding the sword now this could be for a man as well like this person's ready to battle this person's ready to conquer there is no fear so lose the fear if there's fear jump in the feelings are there be strong be happy about it second card for your guidance pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so you have to this card just screams go with it and listen to your intuition this is definitely a faded moment in your life where you have an opportunity to partner up with somebody where it can be really strong where it can bring out the best in you but you cannot overanalyze it and you cannot let fear get to you and sometimes 
being flexible can be scary because change can be hard. But if you're really in it and you really care about this person, it'll require some flexibility. Stay in the moment and beautiful things are going to grow. Your last card here says Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So this is a beautiful, beautiful reading just to recap for those that chose this pile this is definitely something where the feelings are really mutual. It doesn't seem like anybody is confused. It just seems that there might be some adjustments that have to be made in order to keep going with this relationship, but it's all part of the plan. So listen to your intuition, go with your emotions, and things should work out beautifully uh, in September for you. Now, the last pile, for those of you that picked it, we got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so there's a little bit of unsatisfaction here. There's some people that maybe have just decided, you know, a situation has reached its completion and there's no point in trying to go any further and it's time to walk away. Or maybe you have just been left or have left a relationship and this is the person that you are thinking about right now. But this card to me really shows that you're not satisfied emotionally and you kind of are starting to see that there's a different way to go. There's a different path you can go on to find the happiness that you need. But are you going to take it? And is it clear yet? Well, the other cards that we have for more information here are co-create. the tribe that card has been coming up a lot lately and round and round okay so this is definitely a situation that you've been in before whether it's a past life connection you're going in a circle you're going around and around and it's not bringing that fulfillment you're trying to co-create try and come together if there's still hope in this relationship if there's still communication if you haven't walked away or if you haven't given up or if the other person hasn't walked away or given up try and co-create you know you be you let them be them and see what you can do together because ultimately it's about finding your tribe and if you're leaving or if that person's leaving is because you can't co-create and it's because they're not part of your tribe and you're just going around and around and around in a circle and expecting different results. Now, this is very karmic. This is about lessons. If you're in a situation that feels like it's the same day over and over again or it's the same relationship over and over again, this is definitely a time to break that cycle, break that pattern, you know, discuss your feelings you know, just lay it out there, lay your soul out there, tell that person how you feel. And if you cannot co-create and if you cannot coexist, don't go round and round anymore. You know, maybe this is an opportunity where a window is going to come in where you can fix that cycle if you're in that negative spiral. But this is, could also be a sign that if you can't fix it, to get out of it, end the cycle of going in a circle and better things will come. And your last three cards for your guidance is, well, right there. See, we got some confirmation. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So this is definitely a situation that you have control over. You can take yourself and you can remove yourself from the situation or you can do your best to speak your mind and try to change it, but you don't have to go round and round anymore. You have to find what it is that will make you find yourself in a different place, whether it's your actions, whether it's the way you communicate, change something, break that pattern. Patterns are hard to break, but you can do it. And some advice for that is to play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. And this card really reminds me of the Ace of Cups card. And I'm sorry guys, if I'm not holding the cards properly, <clears throat> but you know, there's someone literally sitting right inside or by a glass of something. And I don't know if that's a, a water and a beach towel, but this could be a new love coming in or just, you know, finding joy in the little things, almost like a rebirth. If you can break that chain, stop going round and round, have fun and just celebrate life. It leaves room for the sun to come in and a, a lot more opportunity for you to connect 
with the right people. And at the end of the day, this is quite profound. This card says yes. Just say yes. So I don't know what's going to happen. You know, back to this card up here, the Eight of Cups, you know, somebody might be thinking of leaving or he might be thinking or she might be thinking of leaving. If someone leaves, let them leave. Just say yes to the universe. Say yes to what comes your way. Say yes to what feels good. I believe that for those of you who picked this pile, you will have an opportunity to break a really, really bad habit or a bad cycle with somebody. This could take your relationship to the next level. This person in the Eight of Cups cards could be walking away, but walking away to a better situation with you in mind. But there's definitely something that's been going in a circle that needs to change that needs to shift if you're going to co-create together so i hope that you enjoyed this reading and i wish you all a beautiful magical month of september and please feel free to leave your comments at the bottom i will see you soon radco will see you soon this is pisces moonbeam for radco tarot have a wonderful month